This is Math 141, practice test number one. Question number eight, we're supposed to find a polynomial that has these zeros. So a couple things that I know is, I, you know, I know some, you can find those pretty easy. The, uh, the factors those came from, that came from an x plus one, this came from an x minus three, this came from an x minus two plus i. Um, the other thing that I know is that um, these complex roots come in conjugate pairs. So if two, my, two plus i is a zero for this, two minus i is one as well. So I have it x minus two minus i, like that. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is multiply these two things together first. There's a couple ways that I could do it. Um, I'm going to show you two real quick. Uh, one of them that I really like is to think of, um, this is really x minus 2 minus i. This is x minus 2 plus i. I just distributed those negatives into there. And um, this is a really clever kind of grouping way to think about this problem. So what you could do is think about this x minus 2 oh, right here. Just group it. And now you have what's basically a difference of squares. In other words, you have um, this minus i times that same thing plus i. So uh, let's do that. So x minus 2 times x minus 2 is just x minus 2 squared. Notice you'd get this middle term, x minus 2 times negative i, x minus 2 times positive i, which would add, add each other out, but cancel each other out. Uh, negative i times i is negative i squared, which is negative negative 1, so it's plus 1. Um, x minus 2 squared. You can multiply that, that out. That's x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then notice we're adding 1 to that. So this would be x squared minus 4x plus 5. So that's what uh, these multiply out to. And then I still have to multiply that by these as well. So I think what I might do right now is just in the space that I have is, is multiply these out. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll do that now, and then I'll come back and show you another way to do this multiplication if, if you don't like this way. So, uh, multiply these out. x times x is x squared. x times negative 3, x times 1. X, uh, 1 times negative 3. Combine some like terms, I get x squared minus 2x minus 3. And so then now I've got to uh, multiply this by this. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times negative 4x is negative 4x cubed. x squared times 5 is 5x squared. Now I'm going to take that negative 2 and do it as well. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x cubed. Notice I'm stacking these up like if they match, if they're, if they're like terms. Negative 2x times negative 4x is positive 8x squared. And then as I do my next one, negative 2x times 5 is negative 10x. I'm almost done uh, with this. i got to distribute that negative 3 now. Negative 3 times x squared, negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12x times negative 4x. Negative 3 times 5, negative 15. If I throw together all my pieces, I get x to the fourth minus 6x cubed. And as if I look at this one, uh, I think that's going to be a 10. Nope. Yep. Plus 10x squared. Uh, this is going to be a plus 2x minus 15. And there's my answer. So like I said, I'm going I'm to show you another way to do this multiplication right here. So if you don't like this grouping thing, you have x minus 2 uh, minus i times x plus. Nope. Still minus minus, oh boy, all right, minus 2 plus i. Notice there's three terms here and there's three terms here. So what I can do is I can make a little array that's like a 3 by 3 array. And that's just going to help me organize everything. This is an area model of multiplication. So I'm going to have the x minus 2 and i. And notice I'm just saying like this length is i, this length is negative 2. And I'm doing the same thing here, x, negative 2, negative i. And I'm going to multiply everything by everything else. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. x times i is xi. 
negative 2 times x, negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And you can see like the pieces that I was getting in my multiplication. Um, negative i times x is negative xi. Negative i times negative 2 is uh, 2i, positive 2i. Negative i times i, negative i squared, which is negative negative 1, which is 1. And I miss one little box here, negative 2 times i and negative 2. Uh, and then what you notice happens is those add to 0, those add to 0. Then I have all my same pieces, x squared minus 4x plus 5. So you can multiply it either way.